Hey guys and welcome back. So now we're going to continue creating the fan and the next detail that we're going to create is we're going to make uh, this big hole here and along with the details that we see at the at the back and we're going to uh, create it so that we can easily change the and, and change the number of shapes, the size of the holes and everything. So we're going to do something similar to the one we did to create these details. I'm going to copy this tube here. And this time we're going to uh, change it so that it's inside. So let's go. So we want it to be inside and let's make it a bit bigger, so 2.5. And let's give it some more details. And what I'm going to do is I want to basically extrude uh, and set these two faces and then rotate them. And I'll explain uh, what I mean by that in a second. So I'm going to group these two faces and I'm going to use a procedural uh, uh, system again so I'm gonna use the normals and let's call this faces and want to group um, uh, use the using the normal anything that is facing the z-axis and there is a little bit of um, issue with the viewport right now it is grouping but it's just not displaying it see if I hit enter it displays it and I'm going to copy this node and inverse the axis so it selects the other face. And instead of the initial merge set to replace, we're going to change it to onion with existing. And now I have the two faces. And I'm going to put down an extrude node. And I want to extrude those two faces in. So basically inset them. Something like that. And I'm going to turn off output front. I don't need that. And I don't need the output back, which is off. And the next thing we want to do is we want to rotate these. And I'll explain why in a second. And by doing the, by using the rotate, we can you can see we were doing uh, let me this. You can see that these edges are twisting. And that's what we're going to use to uh, create the detail, to extrude the, to create the details that will be used to do the boolean. So we're going to leave it at that and then we can change it later. And I'm going to remove everything except the uh, except the except these faces. So I'm going to turn on uh, uh, side groups and I want to remove everything except that. So we, uh, we, we have these two and then I'm going to use a group node. And now with the if we use the range group by range. The, uh, it's a separate node. So if we use the group by range node, we can select some very interesting shapes that we can use to, to extrude and create the details that we want. So let's set this to 15 and 20. And you can see now we're selecting the parts that we need. And we can easily, uh, we can easily extrude that and then do use this geometry, uh, extrude the whole volume and then use that for, for the, for the boolean. So the next thing I want to do is I want to extrude the selected parts. So I'm going to group this, let's say group A, that's fine, group 1, that's fine. We're going to select that and then extrude it. Something like that. And let's delete. We only need one part, so we're going to delete um, we're going to delete the the other half. And let's understand what what direction we're facing. So we're going to delete this guy, and I'll explain. And we'll understand why in a second. So we want to delete by volume, and let's do this. Cool. And now we're going to group. I'm going to uh, uh, group these edges and fill them. And actually, let's uh, make the extrude bigger, the inset bigger. You can see already that we have total control about the shape of the of the boolean that we're going to use. And I'm going to group everything by region, and we're going to group the edges. And we're going to use a sphere for that. Let's move it up. And 
let's make it thinner so we can select the details that we need cool so now we have that selected and now we can use a polyfill let's call this edges to cap and let's put that in, in here and let's change it to single polygon so it's just we just need to close that and now we can use the uh, volume extrude node to make a volume out of this so we don't want to use the y-axis we want to use the uh, z-axis and we'll want to invert that let's set it to two maybe four and now let's move this where it makes sense and we'll understand how the boolean is going to work so i'm going to place it there okay and i'm going to save the file and let's just uh, let's make sure all the points are fused so i'm going to put down a fuse node and then we're going to use a, uh, a boolean node and we're going to boolean the fan with this and let's put down an all so we don't see the viewport display for that and now it's giving me this shape so we want to change it to subtract and subtract a from b and you can see already that it's working pretty well and we can change various things we can move this in and we can move it in it will still do that and will still give us that but then we can use the extrude where we push things out and make it bigger and you can see now we have that that much thickness and then we can also go back to that range node where is the range node group by range and then we can control we can control the the size the shape and the number can rotate them can do all kinds of fancy stuff cool so I'm gonna reduce the thickness or I can easily push this in and that will control the thickness of it and I'm going to uh, turn on the grouping of the various edges so under um, the uh, the edges the boolean operation output edges group I want to output all of them just in case and I'm gonna put down a poly bevel and this one where things get a little bit tricky because the we can the edge the poly bevel can explode sometime and because we're creating the groups again and we're getting all groups i just want to delete everything so i'm gonna put down a group delete and i want to reset everything so i'm gonna delete all the groups and now i'm gonna do the same thing here as well so nothing propagates through and now we only have uh, the new groups here so I'm gonna set this to a B and those are the edges that we're selecting and I'm going to set this to 0 0.01 and I'm gonna turn on ignore flat edges as well and let's change this to round set it to 4 and let's turn on split over instant because this helps stabilize the mesh as well Let's untemplate everything and now we have that very awesome part you can see here we just have to find the right value to make uh, make sure that it works I think it's fine yeah it's just a normal issue I think it's fine cool so now we have that detail and the next part is we're going to do uh, we're going to create the actual fan itself so we'll do that in the next video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye